Back in the original Quake Team Fortress mod, the entire thing came in the zip file. And within that zip file, a readme was included. Dear God. Within that readme, instructions on how to install the mod. No. But further down, they took the time to write down what each class's purpose and objective was. Which is especially interesting because it's written by Robin Walker, giving us some insights into their design intentions. Also, quick fun fact, Robin's alias is just... bro. <laughs> I didn't get to talk about this in the video going into the origins of Team Fortress. So here's my audition for Amazon Kindle TTS voice. To keep things concise, I've cut out the parts where he's just listing class properties, like how much armor they have, but you can find the entire unedited readme in the description. The Scout is the fastest moving class of all, and the lightest armored. He is the ideal class for swift recon and flag capturing, and his grenades are a good way to sow confusion among enemy ranks, allowing for easy kills from supporting teammates. The sniper class moves at a medium speed. His sniper rifle makes him the ideal class for long distance defense, but his lack of close range weaponry means he's got trouble if the opponent should get within range. The soldier is the basis of a TF team. He moves slower than most classes, but makes up for it with the weaponry and armor he carries. A versatile class, the soldier has no real specialization, but he's the core of any offensive or defensive squad. The Demolitions Man moves at medium speed. At close range, the Demo Man is particularly dangerous. His main weapons are his launcher and hand MIRV grenades, and with them, he can clear rooms in seconds. But at long range, he's in trouble. Due to his speed and weaponry, he's a good offensive class, but with his pipe bombs and MIRVs, he's often used as the last line of defense. A good class in most situations, the medic is good at close or medium range, and packs enough punch to kill any of the lesser armored classes. A good addition to offensive teams, and an even better addition to defensive groups through his use of the medkit. A great class for clearing out snipers that are pinning a team down. The heavy weapons guy is the slowest moving and most heavily armored class. An almost purely defensive class, the heavy weapons guy can kill any fully armored enemy with a few seconds of concentrated fire from the assault cannon. Mainly effective in open areas, he can be killed by weaker classes if they've got plenty of cover, due to the time taken for the assault cannon to spin up and down. The pyro is a medium speed, well armored class. A good support class, the pyro often finds it hard to kill enemies on his own. Given time, most enemies burn to death, but in that time, the pyro's probably been killed. Due to his ability to knock chunks off the enemy, the pyro is a great first line of defense. Any enemy getting past him will almost certainly be half dead. The spy is a medium speed, fairly lightly armored class. A fantastic infiltration class, the spy can often get inside incredibly well defended bases. His limited weaponry makes him a weak fighter if the enemy is aware of his presence, but if they're unaware, he can kill them before they can blink. The Engineer is a medium speed, fairly lightly armored class. A good defensive class, the Engineer works primarily as a support class, with his ability to repair armor, create ammo, and build structures. The Engineer increases the strength of a group of defenders tenfold. This isn't super revolutionary, but I thought it was cool to read nonetheless. To listen to a commentary node, Put your crosshair over the floating commentary symbol and press your primary fire.